Hi, this is PTF Bergzer Arcade at bergzerarcade.com and this is tutorial 233. So we left off in our last tutorial, we had just gotten shields working properly uh, so that when we loot them from the chest, they're actually being equipped to the right area. So let's just go ahead and grab that just for a recap. I'll open up my character panel, my inventory panel, and I'll just equip a shield. And there we go, it's in the right spot. And we'll grab a different shield and we'll see that everything's switching fine. Uh, the next thing I want to do is actually start working on helmets or so, like some sort of hat that he's going to be wearing. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is come down and make sure all my resources are in order. So I'm going to start off, I come down, they're under items. And I'm going to make sure I have icons for them. And under armor and under head. Now these actually aren't named very well. And I'll actually have to name these a little bit better uh, before I actually start instantiating them, as I really don't like the naming convention. But uh, I do have icons. And what I want to do now is come down to the meshes. And we'll open up the armor. And uh, we don't have them in the, their own folder, which is what we want. And we're calling it head up here. So I'm actually just going to copy the name. I'm going to come down to armor under the meshes. And I'll create another folder. Now your folder structure might be a little bit different than mine really you know you just if you do do it differently just make sure you take note of uh, the path in the folders you have to go through in order to get to your items and let me just open this up uh, we have okay I can't really tell which ones are the well these are obviously the pirate hat ones but as you can see the names are different down here as well uh, but we have six and just let me come up here and check One, two, three, four, five, six. we have six as well uh, this is I'm really not sure what kind of hat that is uh, as far as the name goes uh, but this is the item here and it looks like a Robin Hood hat to me so I'm just gonna call it uh, well, gee I really don't know I'm sure someone in the watching the video will to put down in the comments what the official name for this type of hat is but I'm just gonna call mine Robin Hood for now and I'm actually going to cut and paste that name up here into its icon and of course you know if you do know what the proper name is for that uh, before I get around to actually fixing it make sure you just leave a comment down and uh, down below and I'll probably change it now this is kind of like a, <laughs> a Robin Hood one that's um, a different color and actually I'm just gonna call this one it kind of reminds me of a sailor hat so I'm gonna say sailor uh, which is fine as long as the icon and the mesh are named the same and then I'll come here and this is obviously the pirate hat and again I'm pretty sure there's a a more descriptive name for it and what's left is a bandana I think there's only one item bandana uh, there is right now and of course I'll come down and rename my hat for the bandana so great I now have my meshes done uh, the path is right and my icons are right so let's go ahead and open up a script. And I'm going to start off by opening up Game Settings 2. And in Game Settings 2, I want to come down to where I'm setting the paths for my items. Uh, and here they are, the weapon and shields. And I'm going to copy the shield one. And I'm just going to come down, paste it under. And I'm going to go ahead and change the name. Uh, we're not doing shields for this time. We're going to do... um. Let's just call it hats and come down here and fix this one and make sure you change the path and if you're not sure what the path was again just make sure you go check it I actually called it head um, sure we'll keep it as head Um, 
Um, notice before I was using the plural version on all of well, on some. Yeah, it looks like I was using the plural version. And I really don't want to say heads. Well, yeah, let's just stick to the same name convention. Heads. Now let's head over to the item generator CS script. And we're gonna have an interesting problem here. Uh, where we're creating armor. Uh, this is what we're using to call the shield. So we're gonna have to come down now uh, to the create armor function, uh, which is right here. And here's where we're gonna decide on what type of armor to create. And likewise, um, well, if we're gonna create the shield of the helmet. Uh, I'm gonna start here with my little, uh, basically, um, some way some sort of way to select it I think uh, just to keep it simple I'm gonna use a just a random number and uh, use some sort of switch case block so let's start off with that so I'm just going to create an int and I'm just gonna call this int R and it's just a random so actually we can just say temp is equal to random random dot range and then we're going to give it a range now it would be nice to be able to find out exactly how many different armor pieces and you probably want to generate some sort of um, algorithm so that you can wait uh, what type of armor pieces should be uh, basically have a heavier uh, chance of spawning I'm not going to get that tactical at least not yet uh, right now I'm just going to give it a 50% chance to either spawn a shield or a um, a, a hat. So I'm just going to say 0 and 1. And then down here I'm going to say switch. And I'm going to switch on temp. I could have also just taken this statement here instead of actually creating the variable temp and stuck it in there. Uh, but there's a little bit of stuff I know I'm going to want to do with temp, so I'm just going to leave it out there, and I won't have to change any of this code out here. And I'll start off by moving this armor, which I was calling armor. And I'll leave it like that for now. And we're going to come in and say case. And the first case is zero. I'll add my break statement. I'll cut and paste this and I'll make another case statement and then I'm going to take this line we'll paste it above the first break uh, but we no longer need the armor part in front of it there we go we're now creating a shield and I'm going to want one that creates a uh, hat so I'm going to go down to the create shield method here and I'm going to copy it and just have it create a hat. So I'll paste it there. I'm going to come up to uh, the method again. Whoops, I went up a little too far. And I forgot to actually rename this. So instead of create shield, it's now create hat. And we'll come up. I'll save that off for now. I'll just go see in Unity what errors we have. And we have one right here. We're going to return armor. And let's make this a new armor. There we go. Uh, it's really early in the morning, and I unfortunately did not sleep well last night. So anyway, we got that done. Let's come down to where we're creating our hat. And here we are, we go through there, and we're going to have to switch these strings now. And I had six, so I'm just going to quickly template them out here. So there's my six strings, and I'm just going to come in and actually cut and paste the names. And I'm just going to do it from the actual icons. 
So we have our bandana. And um, I apparently didn't do helmet one and two. Uh, so let me go ahead and open up uh, the meshes again. And here they are right here. So this is kind of, I just call it, um, I don't know, skull cap. It's not really a skull cap. Again, I'm blanking out what the name is. I haven't bothered to look it up. So uh, it's not really a skull. I'm going to call it Squire's, a Squire Helm. Uh, cap. So we'll cut and paste that. And while I have it in memory, I'll just go ahead and put it in. And this next one, I think it's spelt that way, Heum or something like that. The full face helmet. Well, that's the way it's spelt today. <laughs> All right, so we got the bandana. We need the pirate hat. Uh, the Robin Hood hat. And the sailor. Uh, there we go. We have all of our hats in. So we're going to go through and we're going to have to change this here where we're getting shield names. Uh, I'm going to change this to hat names. We don't really need to change it as uh, since there was a local variable, it's not going to interfere with the one up here. But I just want to change it to make it a little more uh, descriptive. All right, so I'm going to come in. Uh, okay, we're just assigning random values. And here. Uh, was it hat icon name? I did hats icon name. And we'll switch out over sing singular so it matches with the rest. And well, let's save that off. And by default, I'm actually going to come back up here and forces switch block to always be case one. And we'll come in, we'll see if we have any errors. Whoops, I had a couple warnings. I unfortunately erased them. Uh, so let's start it up and let's see if we're actually getting the icon for it. And we're not getting any icons. So if we hover over them, we are actually getting name, but we're not getting the icon. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. I did stop it, correct? I did. So I'm going to come back down to uh, the create hat. And the icon is being created here. So we're loading up the hat icon path plus the armor name uh, from game settings 2, which should be right. Uh, so we're calling it hat. Um, okay, so it's going in. And the icon path is item icon armor heads so let's head back into unity item icon armor heads this should have been plural and uh, that's probably it so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead open up another chest and voila we have different hats now we'll probably won't be able to equip these we're going to get the same errors we did last time when we try to put them on and there you go. <laughs> uh, but they are in our backpack. Uh, let's go ahead. I wanted to quickly enable a couple other things while we're in this script. The item generator. Uh, let's go to the top here. Let's bring this back to temp. Uh, make sure to save it off. I'm going to head into Unity. Let it recompile. And we'll just hit play. Now it's, it should be creating uh, both shields and armor. Uh, we're getting shields. That's what I thought. I always get it mixed up with the Unity random range one. And 
I believe it's because in the documentation, uh, it doesn't have it listed as being exclusive or it's listed as being as inclusive. So in other words, with this random range, you'd get a number either zero or one. Uh, but we're really all we're getting is a number zero and the next integer less than one, which of course is zero. So what you actually want is a two there. So you're getting a, a zero or a one. So let's save that off. We'll come back in and let it recompile. Uh, let's hit clear. Now when we open up the chest, uh, we should have a mixture of items. So here's a shield, helmets, and I'm actually going to open up a couple chests. Now I'm not sure really how random the, the randomizer is. Uh, it's probably more than random enough for you know, these demonstrations. And honestly, generating a true randomizer uh, could be a whole huge series all on its own. Uh, but if we take a look here, uh, I have not enabled drag and drop. Uh, but there seems to be a fairly good distribution anyway. There seems to be more shields than there are helmets, but uh, it, we are getting both. And there's one other thing I wanted to do. So I want to come up here. And I kind of want to do the exact same thing for the weapons up here. Uh, so we're going to go int. And I'm just going to call this you know, rand is equal to random dot range uh, 0 to 2. And again, we'll want to figure out a better way to actually generate this random number. Uh, but for now, this is going to work great. And then we'll create our switch, which is going to switch on RAND. And we'll want a case for each one. So the first one's case zero. And I always put my break statement right away because I have been known to forget them. And a case one. Uh, right above here, we're going to want an item. Item equals new item and I'm just gonna cut and paste these in and we'll just say item is equal to create weapon and we'll grab the next one which is a case one now, I do not have a default here uh, I may or may not create a default I'm not really sure I haven't looked that far in advance, and I'm just gonna put that up there. Actually, I want that under here. And now I should actually be getting wet weapons as well. So I'll just save that off. And in our next tutorial, we'll finish getting our hats to actually spawn in the proper place. So here's a weapon, a shield, a helmet. Uh, the weapons and shields should work. Uh, so I'll open up my character panel. We'll go with the weapon. There we go. Let's grab a shield. There we go. And the hat will not work yet. Uh, but we should be able to exchange the weapon. Or sorry, the shield. And let's go back to this one. And the weapon. And we notice everything's uh, working just fine with those right now. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. It's a little bit longer than what I wanted, but I really did want to get in a little bit of randomness as far as the loot generation goes. And the next tutorial, you could probably do the next tutorial on your own as we've just finished going over a very similar case. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is actually have the hat uh, be equipable now. So we're going to have to instantiate it in the world. Make sure we have our mount point for that hat and put the hat on there when they, when they double click it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video if you liked it, and uh, actually thumb it up if you didn't like it as well. <laughs> thanks a lot, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.